Okay, this is the before. Before. Before you have the best lawn you've ever had, this is what your lawn used to look like. Overrun with weeds, chinch bugs, and who knows what. This is what happens. It doesn't take very long for a lawn to go the wrong way here in Florida. And once it gets to this point, the best thing to do is to re completely replace the lawn. Our process, I'm gonna document here. There is a big difference So I just want you to see how things look before we hooked it all up. Big yard corner lot. this old turf haul it to the dump and bring fresh Pro Vista St. Augustine sod we will also be replacing all the sprinklers to make sure we have excellent coverage stay tuned I will be, I will be updating all of the all of the updates to the project i'm going to be putting on facebook or instagram i think i'll probably put them on instagram i'll probably put it on instagram but make sure you like us on facebook also and this is what it looks like when we we come in and get started stay tuned We'll also clean up these now also I'm going to be replacing the irrigation so let's take a look at how that looks it's a little bit longer longer before A little bit longer before video. Let's take a look at. Now we may, he may end up adding on the backyard, but we'll see what happens. But right now we're just going to focus on the front. But this is the old irrigation. Maybe I could have went down that side. There's no gate on that side. So we're gonna put on a new irrigation pump and new irrigation valves so that's the before and everything will be installed properly right now as you can see the valves are above ground which is not up to code this is a little bit longer before video we'll clean up all of this and we're going to get rid of these stumps over here so stay tuned big before and after stay tuned
quick update okay so the pump is in and the new irrigation valves are in and just doing some final tweaking what we're doing now is the final rake out doing some final burning out of the final little roots that might be visible raking everything smooth and then we're bringing in the fresh soil which is the original mix number three back here is very sandy you can see this is all very loose sand so this will not grow a very good lawn at all that's the biggest reason why we always install the good stuff what is the good stuff you say let's take a look at it right now this is the original mix number three which is one of the secrets to the best lawn ever it adds nutrient as well as excellent drainage for the St. Augustine. It's like a comfy mattress for your side. And it creates the perfect environment. So we run this on top and then we put it in the side, which will deliver it fresh from the farm. So out here, you can see a little bit of just extra old roots that we're, that we're cutting out here and we'll be raking this all out this is this is kind of how it looks when we're ready to put the soil in everything's weeded and raked so we'll continue this all the way around and then we'll be putting in the fresh soil and the fresh side will be delivered and installed these sprinklers have been installed repaired and we'll just do some minor adjustments once we put the side in. They've already been adjusted so that they're not just spraying in crazy directions. But once we drop the side, we'll do some finer, final minor adjustments. Stay tuned. All right, so now you can see the difference between the original mix and the sand, the feel dirt which is the reason why most lawns fail is the sod is usually installed on top of this old cheap field dirt to get the best lawn ever you got to start with the right foundation as soon as you walk on top of this you can tell you've been upgraded it's it's really just quiet and soft it's the luxury all of a sudden the dog won't have mud all over it um, this soil will get rid of the mud and it's also going to feed your lawn and plants. We're going to put an orange tree. This is the old sad orange tree. We're going to put another orange tree in this corner over here. And this soil is going to feed it and keep it happy. Stay tuned. Before and after. Okay, YouTube, quick update. So now we got the fresh soil installed, the original mix number three. And we'll break it out a little bit more, but just like the number one need for a new house, you need a good foundation for a new house. You also need a good foundation for a new lawn. So after taking out all of the old debris, bring in fresh soil, we're gonna triple check the side measurements again, again, again. Then get the side order in to the farm. They will deliver it fresh from the farm. Sprinklers have all been replaced, all Rainbird sprinklers and valves with a Meyer one horsepower irrigation pump. Once we get the sod in, then it'll be important to make sure that it's treated for bugs. If we're early in the season, in the early pre-spring, first week of February. Beautiful day today. Stay tuned.
Good morning, YouTube. And this is how, this is how it looks when everything is ready for your brand new lawn. You've already removed all of the old nasty turf, hauled it off to the dump, and we've already repaired the irrigation. You can see all of the new sprinklers. We'll do some more minor raking. And right now on the way is the fresh sod coming from the sod farm in Hastings, Florida. So our sod is local and it will absolutely thrive on this high nutrient surface. This is the original mix number three. This is not topsoil. Those other guys use topsoil. This is original mix number three, which is the exact same soil that we use for raised garden beds. So if you wanted to grow tomatoes, this is the same stuff we use right here. Now on this side here next to the house, we didn't put any soil because we're putting mulch right there. So stay tuned, this is one of my secrets on having the best lawn ever and the grass is on the way. Stay tuned. All right, and we're getting a fresh sod delivered right now. Now, because we're in February, all of the fresh Pro Vista sod is dormant, but it is extremely healthy, happy, fresh sod. But it's just, it's not in the peak of the summer or the spring. So you see this golden brown color, which tells you it's winter time. So we're gonna get this in early in the season. So this will be one of the first lawns to pop green and stay lush emerald green year round. Shout out to the driver that helped us out. This is the Pro Vista. This is the good stuff. And uh, we are ready to get it going. Shout out to our supplier. This stuff all comes from Hastings, Florida. Stay tuned. Okay. So now, why not, you know, why not why settle at a brand new lawn and brand new sprinklers when you can have some fresh color and beautiful curb appeal now i don't know the name of these guys the purple flowers they were recommended by my supplier and i really like them they're budding like crazy it's not just sod, uh, full service landscaping and irrigation. Checking out the sprinklers, setting the plants. We'll get these in. Stay tuned. Okay, we're all done here in beautiful Jacksonville. Front yard reside. Pro Vista. St. Augustine. And we got a couple different shipments from the farm. Some was dormant. Some is greening up and that is the case here in the spring. You can see I'll show you here in a second where the dormant side we brought in is already starting to green up. We also added some landscaping fresh plants. Fresh mulch. So you can see where it's already starting to green up. This is the more green, and this was the dormant 
but it's already starting to green up. This time of year, it doesn't take very long. We're here in February. It won't be long. It's gonna start greening up like crazy. Watering it right now, and we've already put in the fertilizer. And so I just wanna show you the side area. And show you the backyard. Make sure the dogs got back there. Also put mulch up against the house. Here's my phone. It's okay, buddy, bro. We just taking some photos of your new yard, man. Now you can run around in some grass, man. Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it gonna be a lot of fun? This is my new friend. We're friends now. You got grass. I told you I was gonna bring you some grass, man. We friends. See, he re he recognized him. He's like, hold on, that's the grass, man. And that's my friend. That's right, we friends. Now we put in a... Now, when you're from Florida, you know the difference in oranges. And so what I got him was the best orange tree. This isn't just an orange tree. You want the best oranges. And those are the red navels. These don't have seeds. These are the best ones. These are the ones that are so delicious you almost want to eat your face. So we put that in and this is going to be perfect right here with the sunlight. Orange trees love the direct sun. All right. And... Beautiful big German Shepherds love fresh grass. See my friend? Hey buddy. Well, you gonna be you're gonna be able to come out here and play in a minute. You're gonna be able to come out here and play in a minute. He's saying, look, I want to come out here in this grass and play. Now if you see the before, you'll see why he's so excited. Oh, I forgot to show you the pump. I went all the way over there and forgot to show you the pump. We replaced the irrigation pump. This is the after, so I got to make sure I show everything. I know I forgot to show him the pump. I got to show him the pump. So here's the pump. It's running and it's happy. I always use the Meyer pump. Irrigation valves. Also. Six valves. And we put the timer right there, right next to it. So brand new sprinklers, brand new sprinkler system. And with the irrigation pump, you're gonna save money on your water bill because the city sells that water by the gallon. And a lawn like this is going to drink a lot of water. So when you only have to pay for the pump to run, you're gonna save a lot of money. The pump itself does not it's not an extremely, um, it's not a big energy haul. It's not, it's not, I would say it's probably comparable to your microwave in terms of how much energy it uses. All right. So that's the backyard. And I really thank you for checking out this project. If you are ready to have the best yard ever, floridaprolawncare.com. You can send me a direct message on Instagram at Florida Pro and make sure you like Facebook page Florida Pro Lawn Care. Thank you for checking this before and after out. I love to hear what you think about it. Until the next time, peace.